Hi, it's Bridget at Above Life Channel. Today I have a special treat for you. I'm going to use a transformative channel style, which I refer to as trance, T-R-A-N-S, channel. And we are going to connect with Ms. Marilyn Monroe. Now she did advise me on my makeup and so I have a lot more than I normally would have on, especially the eyes. She kept saying, darken the eyes, darken the eyes. I'm like, okay, so I did. And the, the lipstick, very much her. Uh, she does not like my dress. And I told her too bad, I don't have a huge uh, Hollywood style wardrobe. She would much prefer I wear black or red and um, some nice diamond like or rhinestone earrings. So I just wanna make sure I mention that. Um, in addition, she actually, uh, I could feel that I needed to go put perfume on. Not essential oil, perfume. And she prefers, much more prefers like a Coco Chanel or something like that, like a Chanel number no. five, which I don't have. So the kind I have is a little too fruity for her, but we'll see how it goes. She's very particular. She's got a specific taste, let's say that. All right, so um, as always, if you've watched my channel before, you know I work with Prince in the afterlife. He actually helps to manage for me some of these other celebrities that I, uh, when I get into a trance uh, channeling, a transformative channeling situation. So you may feel him or sense his energy here as well, or I may actually speak with him while I'm transitioning into allowing Ms. Marilyn Monroe to come and be present and I can really feel her energy. She's like ready. She's like right over here on this couch ready to just jump right in. All right. So clearing my own personal energy. Remembering, remembering that she will be in the energy space in front of my body and not actually inside my body, but that the energy will flow through me through the chakras. And I can utilize that and she can utilize my body gestures and stuff will respond or react to her energy. She's super close so I can literally feel her. Let me step back. Such a little body, such a little body. <sighs> such a little body. Oh, that feels nice actually, thank you. I had to wait, I wanted to make sure it was okay for her to let me come in. Is it time, is it time? I was told it wasn't a good idea to open the eyes, but I really would like to. Oh, it's difficult. Indeed, I understand. I understand. It's all right. It's all right. And you have questions for me. And I am okay with answering them. The eyes are so fascinating to me. Such beautiful eyes. She has such beautiful eyes. I want to open them so much, but oh, nice cheekbones. Oh, I love this. I love this. Beautiful. Mm. Okay, I'm ready. What are your questions? 
So you've been kind of pushing to be uh, to talk for the last two or three weeks and kind of wondering what that was all about. Um, birthday yeah. coming up. Exactly. Birthday. Yeah, your birthday was a couple Happy weeks birthday ago. Happy birthday to me. Yeah, so and I've been trying for about two and a half to three weeks in your human brain times. <laughs> I've never been good with dates either, Miss Bridget. I've never been good with dates either. We have that in common. However, <clears throat> oh, it is warm in this body. It is warm. Some like it hot. <laughs> oh, this is fun. I hope she likes it so we could do it again. Okay, so go ahead. So what surprises you most about the afterlife? What's, what's it all about? Oh, serious questions so deep and intellectual. The afterlife. It's such a mystery, isn't it? It's like a masquerade ball. It's like the best Hollywood night when everyone gets all dressed up and struts their stuff stuff and looks their best and has their diamonds out shining bright. It reminds me of a night where you walk down Hollywood Boulevard in those days. It was very classy and we would go to a premiere of a movie and it would be just the night, the mystery of the night and that there's just something in the air. It's just seductive. I would say the afterlife is like that that celebrity motif mystique that you tend to fall in love with or or are so curious about it's it's rather like that it it's not to be compared to in your experience with a body but in memory the best I could recall in, in to bring it into comparison is to like those nights in Hollywood at the movie premieres and just the beautiful gowns and the good looking men and the who's who. That's that glamour, glamorous. I would say the afterlife is like Hollywood glamour and it feels a bit out of reach, doesn't it, for the ordinary, for the ordinary ones, which in, as a person you are, we, well, most of us have been ordinary, quite ordinary. I would say the afterlife is not ordinary, definitely not ordinary. Does that answer your question? I hope that answers your question. I'm just really not sure how to, I don't really want to get too deep and, you know, boring for people. So let's turn it the other way. What do you miss about when you were a person? Dressing up, looking good. I miss the body for sure in the way in which we could decorate it, adorn it with jewels and fragrance and makeup and just incredible sophistication. It's, it's really beautiful. The human body is so gorgeous. I would say I'm, I do miss that. So knowing what you know now, what would you do differently with your human life? Ooh, I probably would have gotten married again. <laughs> or maybe not so many times. Arthur is such a dear, but just really... <clears throat> And also, I'm not that into baseball. But Joe is also a darling. Such beautiful red roses. That is so adoring, isn't it? It's just so beautiful. Oh, the kisses. 
Oh, I want to say about the kisses. As Bridget had watched one of these movies and said she was interested in the kisses, the kisses on my beautiful monument, the stone, the wall, the kisses, everyone kisses, leaves kisses for me. And so I want to give kisses back to everyone. And thank you for the gorgeous, this, the adoration, the adoring flowers. And they're so beautiful. And Bridget really felt that. And she loved that. And so that was the moment when I I was able to sneak in and ask to be invited to speak. And so I want to make sure that I, I talk about that part. But what I would have done differently, oh, I loved so much. I loved so much. But, but I may have gotten married again. It is possible. Had things been different, I may have fallen in love. I loved being in love. Just like in the movies and the pictures, love is just such a, I just loved being in love. So I may have loved more. I may have committed a little better. Perhaps, maybe it's, I would say I may have been just a tad, just a little bit hard, a tad hard to love, but it's because I have so much passion and so much fire in my body and so much to share with the world. And there's never really enough time or room or opportunity to really give all of that. So that's what I would share. It's about love. Love, darlings. <laughs> love. So let's talk a little bit about your transition, what it was like to leave your body, you know, after everything else was left behind and who you may have greeted you and, and what it was the experience was like for you. All right, I'm getting close to my wrap up time, but I will definitely speak on this topic. It's not that glamorous. My departure was not that glamorous, but it was dramatic. The exit was a dramatic scene. And I will share that it was definitely an accident. So stop, stop with all the rumors and the gossip. Hollywood is known for the gossip. It was completely an accident. No one caused my death. No one murdered me. I would like to clear that up. Those poor Kennedys, they've been blamed for so much for so long. And hmm, I just want to clear that up. And. At the time of my death, it was quick. It was like sleeping, like normal. I, to be quite frankly honest with you, I didn't quite realize that I was not alive anymore. I remember being in my bed and there were, I could feel satin around me, but nothing was over my body confining me. I could feel this softness. And I looked, I could see this light on my left side out in the corner of my room that I thought was a lamp, maybe a lamp, but I think it was a lady, a woman. And now, knowing what I know now, it may have been an angel, but she showed as a woman a helper or assistant for me. And Marilyn, Marilyn, she was speaking my name, my Hollywood name, which is who I really am. Let me be clear on that. That is who Marilyn is, who I really am and how, who I was born to be Marilyn Monroe. I know there's some 
flutter about my name and that's me embody me and so I would say in your words Bridget would use the words of spirit guide or perhaps angel and she was calling my name and I could kind of see her and things were a little fuzzy around the edges but that's not unusual for me that wasn't abnormal and it was so early it was like pre-dawn hours and I think it was about 2 a.m between 12 a.m and 2 a.m and then at 3 30 ish 3 30 something people came or there was something that happened and I couldn't talk to them they didn't see me and at that time I was I would say that I was out of my body but I wasn't seeing my body if that makes sense I wasn't I was more in a different I was in the fuzzy edges and not in the actual experience so there was no pain at all it was it was sort of normal like I didn't I thought perhaps it was just a grand dream or something and it was usual to have different kinds of experiences with the the medications that I was on many medications and I would say it was just natural and then after that everything was like a kind of like a yellow gold and I felt like I was walking a red carpet and all I could see was just this bright yellow gold all around me and I could see just like this path in front of me but I would say like red carpet and the gold posts where the velvet ropes are and they were black velvet ropes with gold posts and I walked and just this bright light, but that's not unusual for me. The cameras and the lights and the photographers are so much light, spotlights, and that's normal. And so it was very comfortable. It felt warm, like a hot Hollywood night. And I knew that there was this woman who was with me, you know, helping me. And then there was another, there was a man also beside me as well. And I just, I guess that's the last I remember or I can recall or reflect of those moments prior to the movement into the after, what you're referring to as the afterlife for me. So I can hear your son in the background. <laughs> oh, she's not going to be very pleased with that. That's all right. Children are fine as long as they're seen and not heard. Mm. Mm -hmm. Any words to wrap up? I want to say thank you. Thank you for those who love me, who continue to love me. And my remember me for the love that I provided, the love that I felt and, and try to share. That's what I would say. And she is working to come in. So I may have to leave rather quickly, but I would say thank you for this opportunity. And I will come again and I will talk about all the gossip you want to talk about about Hollywood if you want to. I don't, I'm not beyond that. It's interesting, isn't it? It's intriguing. Um, she wants to come back really fast. Prince off to my left. 
she's leaving in a red dress and it's beautiful and it's got a long train slid up the front right up the middle too beautiful legs her shoes are like a silvery color she's got a necklace on beautiful red lips gloves red gloves and a big fat like five layered diamond bracelet she's like turning over the side her over shoulder and just doing this little like wave with her fingers this little wave thing she is really sweet she's got a great personality but she's really sweet like I could feel her she's super honest about her feelings I could feel that I have respect for that part I definitely have respect for that part There was one part that I wanted to share that at first when she was off stage, we'll call it over here, she kept at looking to Prince like, can I come in now? Can I come in now? Like, am I on? Am I on? Like she was coming on stage and she had this soft, fuzzy sweater. Like I wanted to touch it. It was like a white or ivory. I wanted to touch it with pearl buttons and it was like a button up and it was like, I just wanted to touch it like it looks so soft and fuzzy and she was really excited super excited to be here and i was going to mention one thing came up and that was like I, so beforehand like i mentioned my makeup and my clothing and spray and you know perfume whatever she wanted me to curl my hair and i haven't done that for a long time and i was like yeah i'm not going to do that for a trans channel but she really liked like i when i felt her i felt like this big head of hair like almost like a wig with this big fluffy curly head of hair and um, she really wasn't all that interested in talking a lot about the afterlife she was more interested in talking about life like human life like um, sharing memories and like I could feel that and relationships were really important to her I could feel that and I was seeing all these cool images of these famous people these guys too that I have no idea these men mostly and beautiful women um, all dressed up and and I, I wish I knew who they were but I did I don't know who they are like by face recognition but she was showing me all these people and um, it's really interesting I think having just a conversation with her would be a good thing to do so that we could actually have a dialogue about well who is this and who is that and here's who I feel it is is that accurate kind of a thing because when it's a transformative channel I can't do that I can't be asking her questions I have to really work hard to stay back behind the scenes and watch you know stay off stage and watch what's going on so I'm interested to listen and hear back I hope you've enjoyed this trans channel. This is Bridget at Above Life Channel. Remember the purpose here is to inspire your spirit and to fill you up with hope. This is why we channel the afterlife is to connect and get those, those messages, get that, those insights from them about our own human life experience. Thank you so much for being here. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe to the channel so you never miss a weekly channel. Thanks for being here.